Eminem's new album came out. Uh, what is it called? The the death of Slim Shady. Um, and this is the one we played the video a couple weeks back. Uh, the Houdini song. Which, by the way, our guy Shane Gillis is in that video. Oh, is he? Dude's blowing up, man. It's oh, crazy. Cool. Um, oh, cool. Oh, now cool. I gotta be. <laughs> I gotta be honest. I. I, I've been sleeping on Eminem for the past like 15 years. Yeah. So I, I need, I, I had never heard of Houdini until you told me like, have you heard this new song? Mm-hmm. Um, and when you, when you, we played it on the show, I was like, Oh shit. Like he's kind of back to what he used to do. Yeah. You know, um, I know that right now, like he's not cool with the Gen Z population and because all they know about him is like the relapse album, the, I'm not afraid. The shit's come out in like the last 15 years. Yeah, they weren't yeah. there for the early 2000s, fucking late 90s, um, saying shit that nobody else was saying and fucking just like taking the world by storm. So um, I feel like since his, al- his album uh, in 2002 or 2004, I think it's called Encore, uh, he's been doing this kind of like, I mean, he's he's been sober for like 20 years. Mm-hmm and his art has reflected that yeah um but which is usually the death for a lot of great artists yeah yeah because i mean drugs make good music really yeah uh booze makes good podcasting (laughs) yeah um so this album was supposed to be i mean it's a concept album he said but it's supposed to be not only the return of Slim Shady, who is his alter ego, who says all the crazy shit. Yeah, that was like, the sick part that like kind of caught everybody's attention. Yeah, but it's like the, I guess it's called the death of Slim Shady because he's like finally putting that fucking character to, to rest. Um, and it, Which I think like giving it basically a full album is a good send off and a good way to do it, like yeah. because it is such an adored um, personality. Yeah. I mean, everybody who grew up in, you know, lived through the late 90s and early 2000s knows Slim Shady and knows Eminem yeah. uh, for that character. So, dude, I got to fucking say, man, I fucking I listened to this album basically as soon as the workday started today at like fucking 1145. Yeah. And I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> and dude, I listened to the thing the whole way through and I fucking love it, dude. I was like. I was like, dude, this is what we've been fucking waiting for. Is he back? Is Shady back? I, I mean, I don't know if he's back because this whole album is like putting that character to rest. Yeah. But like we have been old Eminem fans have been dying for him to just like go back to being the dude that just like says crazy shit, does not care like about repercussions, is not trying to be inspirational, is just trying to fucking be funny and have fun. He says the F word and not that one, but the cool one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I was thinking maybe we could just go through a couple of the tracks all right, real quick uh, and just see what uh, get some live reactions. Let's here. hit it. Right. Let's hit it. So this is uh, uh, Habits with a guy named White Gold. A long time for this shit. Long time no see. Thought you got rid of my ass, huh? Alright, here's what we're gonna do. You take this, or I put a book between your fucking eyes. Here, we'll split it. Half in that van, I'm driving straight out of van. In a black sedan, fast as I can. In Pakistan, getting chased by Pakistans. You know how I roll, bitch. I'm an avalanche. It's my shit, I'm gonna spit it how I wanna spit it. Whoever gets offended, suck a dick and fuck a critic. Not to get retarded on this motherfucking shit. It. Shut up, midget. Shut Stop moving, trying to break the habit of saying any R words. But I'm still an addict, so it's getting harder. Been calling bitches hoes since a kindergarten. This is Jimmy Carter. Now I'm kitty cornered. Sitting in PC court with a shitty lawyer. Like, damn. You got an addiction, man. It was like, this is like the fucking opening track. Damn. It was like, oh shit, dude. He's fucking saying retard. He's talking about like PC shit. He's, uh, I mean, this, I mean, Look, I don't want to pretend like I'm like obsessed with like PC culture and him and woke shit, but like, I mean, people feel like they've lost him to like his sobriety and just like being like kind of uh, a responsible adult, basically. Yeah. And this is like holy shit! Like this is the fucking D12 Eminem that everybody misses. Yeah, the good one, the fucking dog of all dogs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. 
Um, so yeah, so that's like the opening track. Uh, and then there's this, there's this other track that is after that. It's called Brand New Dance. Yeah. Oh, let me play. Have you listened to the full album yet? Yeah, I listened to. Well, I listened to like ten tracks uh, before the show tonight. Okay. Uh, but obviously, yeah. Uh, it's, I mean, there's some pretty good, uh, pretty good features on. Is that what you call them? Yeah. Features. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, there's some good fucking boys on there. All right, so here's a brand new dance. All right. This sounds like Eminem show right here. Everybody yeah. on the dance floor, come on! It kind of, it kind of sounds like uh, just like sort of the just lose it. Ah, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Or like, like these chicks don't even know the name of my band. Like you know, he's playing around. He's having fun. Yeah. I mean, it's you too, Chris. <laughs> well, it's Friday night. No date for the prom. Just got caught jacking off by your mom. Suspended from school for setting off the alarm. Keep drunk, keep screaming, you're gonna drop the bomb. But anyway, every day is the same old shit. It room looking like a tornado hit it. Try to explain your parents, they don't get it. Time to hit you with a form gate or rhythm, let it roll. If you're ready, we're gonna start the show. Everybody in the world, all across the globe. You can feel it in your head, down to your toes. Dance to your wheelchair bound. Here we go. Yeah, horseback, little dosy go. Little bit of soul mixed with some rodeo. Everybody in the world's gonna laugh to this shit. I'll probably end up crippled after. Yeah, you're right. It's definitely fun, Eminem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, that, and, and later in the song, he like this is where he unveils the uh, Christopher Reeves. This is again. Yeah, <laughs> that he. In a garbage can Shit, hell damn it I can hardly stand But I get it cracking Like no one in the party can Give me a beat I'll show you all a brand new dance All I need is a stretcher And an ambulance But stand back Kids don't try this at home It's a brand new craze And it's sweeping the nation Anything else is a cheap imitation Just make sure that you videotape it You can only do it once But the people go ape shit It's a crowd favorite A party pleaser It's better than a shake Of the grandma seizure So next time that you see grandma teaser And roll up with a fresh set Of wheels all greased up all right well eventually he gets to Chris Reeves, but yeah it definitely sounds like he's got his like style back like yeah. it sounds like this is um this is like the eminem that everybody fucking right. loved yeah, for yeah. years dude New, now now this song dude this song is my favorite on the album yeah it's called it's called lucifer mm-hmm. it's produced by dr dre hell yeah so i mean you know i i honestly believe like eminem would not be uh, people would not love him as much if Dr. Dre was not like his right hand man for the first, you know, first like five years of his career. Um, there's just something about that combination. Honestly, Dr. Dre with like anybody, it's like holy shit. Like, you know, he he really knows how to like prop people up. He's the kingmaker. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, I saw I saw them all on stage at uh, at Coachella uh, a couple years ago. It was oh, really? Say it was like. It was Dr. Dre, Eminem, and 50 Cent. And I was like, whoa, this is like, how often do you see this shit? Yeah, that's crazy. Um, so, yeah. Uh, and this is the song where he he goes in on, uh, I mean, he makes fun of a lot of people, but he has like a whole like eight bars about Candace Owens. Bars. Bars. Yeah. It, but, dude, it's the fucking, de is it's so good, dude. Shot right between the eyes. Also, no. <laughs> Before I get banned, kicked off Twitter and TikTok, cause they so damn ticked off bitter, they want me to bounce like, like a fabric soft finna. We just got bitter, yeah, go kick rocks with it. But Dre on beats with the white bass, blondie on the mic is like having steady B and cool C in the ride. Like we rap and did a little bank robbery on the side, so they want beef. We can make like Bonnie and collide. Haters can meet the same exact fate as my dad. Wait. At least he didn't miss me graduate. Yeah, great. But mom, do I still act eight? Uh, maybe a little Debbie, uh, like a snack cake. Yeah. But if this is what he do to his mom, imagine what he do to you. I'm a lunatic arm, and if it's you, I use the clip on for you to respond. It's ludicrous, mom. Look at what you do to respond. Tell me what have we done? Sick. Yeah, dude. Fuck, man. Dude, he's just putting out banger after banger. 
I mean, at this point, I'm like, when I was listening to this, I was like, dude, there's not. Now all I see is dollar signs, losers. Bitch, I was in them trenches like them Columbine shooters. Dude, did you hear that line? That's a sick line. <laughs> Bitch, I was in them trenches like them Columbine shooters. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> bro. I mean, he is fucking. He doesn't care. He's I mean, going for it. Yeah, this is yeah. this is what made everybody fall in love with him. This yeah. is the, like this is why everybody's kind of been like wincing and rolling their eyes when yeah. he comes out with new shit for like the past like 10, 15 years because it's like, oh, this is it's been like a tame version of Eminem and this is really what everybody wants. Yeah, I mean it's it's hard to be like a fan of his and be mad at him for being sober and like rapping about his like his the fact that he like was able to take back control of his life and shit like that yeah and And also like they're you know it's hard to be mad at a guy for as they're like raising kids and shit like that like not wanting to do such hard edge stuff like yeah it's like ice cube making kids movies and shit yeah yeah exactly yeah Yeah. but at the same time like as as a selfish fan you're like all right but can you just do like one song where you say like you know all those words you used to say (laughs) (laughs) in in this in this verse he goes after candace owens pretty hard i i don't care about the political like uh implications yeah i don't i don't care about that at all i just like i listen to it for like the rhyme scheme how good it sounds and like is it funny and is it entertaining and it is like a choice shady choose it now all I see is dollar signs, losers. Bitch, I was in them trenches like them Columbine shooters. I was down bad, broke, and almost abandoned hope. Now my followers are like a satanic cult. Yeah, they listen to me like when Manson spoke. They say I don't know struggle no more. That's a joke. Bitch, the fucking elevator in my mansion's broke. I have to walk like half a block to get a can of coke. And Candace, so I ain't mad at her. I ain't gonna throw the fact, bitch, forgot she was black. Back at her, laugh at her like them crackers. She's back and after her back is turned in a cute bag of hat with her brand new white lies. Man, a shirt, nope. or say this mag a dirt bag and a skirt. Just open the biggest can of worms on the whole planet. Earth hologram with her clan. Just a grand dragon her like the national anthem. I won't stand for the tramp, but I can't diss her because my plans are to get in her pants and I blow on my chance if I answer back to her oh, my shit is like taking Deborah Mathers out of work yeah I'm not I mean he's talking about how he wants to have sex with Candace Owens so he doesn't he, want to diss her who doesn't yeah I mean <laughs> yeah. fuck she's alright girl's yeah. hot shit <laughs> alright dude I, this song Antichrist um, it's good but the, the my biggest takeaway from it was dude he fucking brought Bizarre back for his fucking Best album in 20 years. Now, if anyone listened to D12, um, you guys remember him as the fucking guy who did not belong there, <laughs> who fucking was not good at rapping, yeah, but uh, so- was entertaining because he just said the most absurd shit ever. Yeah. Um, so let me play his uh, his verse for you. Bicycles built for two, sticking a slice and dice. Tanks on scores in women and children. You want to dance with the devil, dance with the devil, dance with the devil, You want to dance with the devil, I want to suck that tongue, I want to get out the gutter. Now listen to the shit that he said. It's about to get done. Guess who's back? Straight out the gutter. With a dirty rubber, plus my homeless mother. Where Bruce Jenner at? I want to fuck that hoe. Where's <laughs> nigga that's dying at? I want to suck. <laughs> I mean, he's like, he, he, he always delivers. Like, <laughs> I if mean, you want to be shocked, he's going to shock you. Who doesn't want to fuck that hoe? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, Caitlyn Jenner got a lot of run on this album. Homeless mother. Where Bruce Jenner at? I want to fuck that hoe. Where's Megan Thee Stallion at? I want to suck that hoe. I want to years in. It's Bruce dot Caitlyn Jenner to that. Uh, God, dude, that is a perfectly delivered line. <laughs> Where's Megan the Stallion? I want to suck that toe. <laughs> oh my God, bizarre. You don't care, do you? 
I wanna fuck that hoe. Where's Megan and Stallion at? I wanna suck that toe. Mm -hmm. 20 years in, shit, I'm past addiction. Uh -huh. I'm at CVS, trying to find my past prescription. My dad didn't listen. I passed the mission. Fucking a tranny on IG Live. That was a bad decision. <laughs> you hear that, dude? He said... You said fucking a tranny on IG Live. <laughs> that, that was a bad decision. <laughs> he doesn't. He doesn't care. Dude, this is when. This is when. This is like two thousands. This I is know, like when man. rap was fun. When when pop culture was fun. Yeah. You could just get away with anything. I'm convinced. Like Eminem was like, "Yo, dude, say this and like make sure you say this too." Uh, oh, I you think you think he was planting words in there? I don't know. I, I, you know, I'm just, I'm just hypothesizing here. Uh, all right, here we go. I wanna fuck that hoe. Where's Megan and Stallion at? I wanna suck that toe. Mm -hmm. Twenty years in, shit, I'm past addiction. Uh -huh. I'm at CVS trying to find my past prescription. My dad didn't listen. I passed the mission. Fucking a tranny on IG Live. That was a bad decision. <laughs> fuck up. my rent due. My girl needed an abortion. What you gonna do? What? Sell them Eminem Jordans. All gas, butt naked, all ass. Trying to get on Haley J's podcast. Why not? <laughs> I love that guy. Oh, that's sick, uh, dude. Dude, it's it's like um, I think you said it best. It's so much fun. Yeah. Like I feel like you're gonna probably spend six hours listening to this album this weekend. Yeah, I mean. It's weird. Like I'm, I'm in a place in my life where I, I don't really like listen to, like I got two little girls, you know. Like I, 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 I and when we're in the car, like I don't want to fucking blast bizarre while they're in the back, like asking for a fucking old McDonald. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe Bruce, just just randomly yeah. blasting out Bruce Jenner. Jokes. I want to fuck that hoe. <laughs> oh, yeah, but uh, I don't know. Maybe like at the gym i guess i don't know like do you what, do you find yourself listening to oh no i'm so old dude yeah, yeah. I, I barely ever listen to music anymore it makes me so sad I, I think about it sometimes while i'm like working yeah i'm like god dude it used to bring me such fucking joy sitting around I like know. not not even like new stuff just stuff that i already knew um you know oh, just playing the oh hits back gosh. and just fucking jamming all yeah. night long yeah and I just don't have that anymore. I don't that, have that, that was energy. Back when like the the world was our oyster, you know. Yeah, for sure. Uh, you'd be like, oh man, who knows what life holds in store for us? Oh, it definitely sucks getting old so hard. <laughs> no, really, but yeah. but I mean, it's like it's literally like things that you know would bring you enjoyment. You're just like, ah, yeah, I don't know. I kind of rather just sit here and do nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm really enjoying sitting here doing nothing at all. <laughs> all right, this song, um, Head Honcho. Is uh, well, I skipped over guilty. He did. You remember guilty conscience with uh, Dr. Dre back in the day, where it was like uh, Eminem was like the the devil on the shoulder, and Dr. Dre was oh, like, yeah. Uh, so we did. They did a guilty conscience too. It was Fuck pretty yeah. good. Yeah. Um, but I'm gonna skip to head honcho because I don't know who this guy is. I, I just found I just Eminem. No, yeah. <laughs> I just discovered who he is uh, on this album. His name is Easy Mill. He's like a Filipino rapper. But dude, he fucking Jeez, crushes it. My cover. No, it's all just a test, but I can't pass up this hunger. There's still a hole in my chest, and I'm trying to strap it with numbers. All you hoes got your checks, but I'm a queen when I run up. Cross a king with my hunters, shooting threes in abundance. Rookie G's acting thuggish. You points to me, shut the fuck up. Annihilation's what we love. Steady hitting, getting dust. Just wait till we get the guns out. He's, he's rapping in uh, ta Tagalog now. What's Tagalog? Is that like, the Filipino language? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Which that, I mean, I think it's like on an Eminem album that every like that had this much anticipation. Like, that's pretty cool that he was like, "Yeah, go ahead, do whatever you want." Yeah, I also like their Girl Scout cookies. Steady hitting, getting dust. Just wait till we get the guns out. Quarenta cinco na calibre o nueve ka una bahala sa dinami rami mung malay utak mo lang may tama sa kiti. That's pretty crazy when he said that. Um, takum na kalala like. I don't know what that means. But <laughs> yeah, it's, 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 yeah, it's pretty wild. It's pretty wild, dude, <laughs> yeah, that he said that shit. That? Like, dude, dude, this guy is fucking... I mean, Bizarro was pretty crazy, but this guy... This guy doesn't give a fuck. <laughs> 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 okay, I mean, I'm not gonna lie. I love it, dude. I, I love it. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, dude, that, that would fit better with the... Uh, 
the Indian segment we were doing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he did a song called Temporary, where it's 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 kind of like, in in my opinion, it's kind of but boring and sad. Yeah, it's like uh, a letter to Haley as if he had just died. She's like grown now, right? Yeah, she just daughter. got married. Yeah, yeah. She's like what, like in her mid twenties, probably. Probably, yeah. Oh, we're almost dead, dude. I know. <laughs> And then Fuck. the last one I want to go through is uh, it used to be go with him, Haley. Dad, dad. Yeah. Now she's a grown woman. I know. Fuck. Uh, uh, the last one I want to look at was uh, save me. Somebody save me. It's um, you know that guy Jelly Roll. Yeah, yeah, he's you, huge right now. He's like a well, he's like, been huge for a long time. <laughs> yeah, I mean, but, yeah, obviously uh, <laughs> he's huge. But uh, so this song is like. It's, it's featuring Jelly Roll, but it's it's that is his most famous song, Save Me or whatever. Um, and Eminem just made like kind of a rap song out of it. It's pretty cool. Come eat. Somebody. Anyway. Father title. It's a lot of some shit. Somebody save me, me from myself. So yeah, that sounds like a uh, toy soldiers a little bit. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, you're right, you're right. Yeah, this is one. I mean, he 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 does sprinkle in. There, there are some like emotional, depressing songs on this album. Yeah, which I mean, you know, some people may like that. Like you, the guy who's going to see a black therapist. <laughs> no, honestly, I, I skip these type of songs. But uh, anyways, yeah, dude, the fucking album exceeded my expectations. Like, I, I mean, that's an understatement, dude. I, I liked, I liked Kamikaze, the album that he put out, like six or seven years ago. it was fun yeah that yeah. that was the one that had the diss track to to um uh what was his name mgk uh, mgk yeah. i mean i don't think kill shot was on it oh but know. i mean he did he did talk shit about mgk he talked shit about a lot of people but dude this is just like a whole nother level where uh it, it really feels like he was like all right i'm these people think that i'm completely like removed from who i used to be like i'll fucking you guys want that guy all right here here he is do you think this is like i mean the obvious question is does this bring him back to like being eminem icon status but the second question for me is does this make like a classic album for him yeah dude so yeah. this is like in the pantheon of eminem yeah. albums. i don't think it i don't know if it brings him back like he's 51 like he's probably he probably just wanted to prove a point just and be then like, just bow out yeah yeah i mean i that's probably why he's, it's the death of slim shit he's like i'm not gonna keep doing this just so you fuckers know i could keep doing this but um dude this is a this is the best album in my opinion in a, a lot of opinions that he's put out in like 20 years i mean Okay, it doesn't beat like Slim Shady LP or anything, no, 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 or Marshall no. Mathers or anything like that. But, no. but, uh, but yeah, dude, this is you know I, I was looking at a lot of Reddit um, uh, threads about like different songs, and so many of the comments were like, "Fucking finally, he gave us what we wanted." Yes, you know, yeah, like, hell yeah, finally he said fag. No, I'm, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'll take that part out um but you know that a lot of people are like oh man like it's it's just it's cathartic for them they finally get what they wanted dude it's like seeing and maybe there's something to that for him as an artist to take away for a little while what everybody wanted yeah and kind of build i'm not saying it was intentional i'm sure he didn't try to put out like boring albums or anything like that yeah but maybe there is something to that of kind of taking away that thing that everybody yearns for and wants only to bring it back at the end and kind of go out with a yeah. fucking bang. I mean, that's that's pretty legendary uh, 
pretty legendary maneuver. If it was tactical, of course, but even if it's not, it's pretty fucking epic. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I agree. I mean, he probably got tired of it for a while. He's like, I, I'm, I'm a different person. Like you said, I'm, a, I'm a dad. Like, well, I mean, he's, he's been a dad since uh, the beginning. But uh, you know, he's probably like, I'm, I'm not doing drugs anymore. I'm, you know, way more responsible. And I like going to AA meetings. You know? <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, anyways. Yeah, guys, check it out. Um, if you like Eminem, it's it's a fucking awesome album. Yeah, just Google Eminem. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Eminem new album. Soundcloud.com slash <laughs> underscore Eminem. Uh, <laughs> no, um, but yeah, I was happy with it. 